Today we're going to have a look at the new ESXi 5.1 announced a few hours ago here at VMworld. I'm not on the best connection. I'm using an uh, inferior microphone. Please forgive the lack of production values. But what I really want to try here is USB 3.0 support and maybe I'll try out a larger than 2 terabyte virtual machine hard drive as well. Let's start with USB 3. So in the past you'd configure a VM like this one which is Windows Server 2012 based. Uh, let me just show you that tab right there. Server 2012 64 bit. And um, it's got some USB devices. The USB 3 attached is fine. Notice this controller, which I talk about in another video of mine, right here in gray, it says it supports USB 3 passed through to a VM. All right. So I have now had a USB 3.0 memory stick, thumb drive, installed, or added to a USB 3.0 port on this server, and there it is. Team USB mass storage, and finish. Okay, so we've added USB 3.0. Let me get the virtual machine we're adding that up to its console. Just a second. Okay, I've got that ready. I'm going to click OK, and then quickly uh, hop over to the other machine. Okay, so now we're looking at the other machine. Now what do we have? Well, if we look under USB serial controllers, we can see what the VMware configuration part was telling us. Interesting, that's Microsoft branded. Um, USB serial port, that's got nothing to do with it. Uh, the USB key might actually already be visible. Let's have a look here. Sorry about sliding around, just a limited resolution here. Alright, let's have a look. Uh, removable disk has shown up. Drip H, okay. Notice the size is 8K. I'm 100% positive that is the correct drive. And we now have a USB 3 memory stick. Uh, let's see if I have a uh, decent file to transfer uh, to it. Okay, I've got one ready. 4 gig should do. Gives a good idea of the performance we get. And uh, I don't think this machine has disk benchmarking, but I can probably. Uh, Get that going too if needed. All right, let's go back to the USB drive. So what you're looking at here is my first test of USB 3.0 support in a virtual machine. This does change things. Uh, it means things like VM direct path pass through or telling VMware that you want to take a USB 3.0 device like a PCI adapter that has USB 3.0 ports on it and pass it through to a particular virtual machine. So if we're able to transfer files or support USB 3.0 natively inside of virtual machines uh, the days of having to worry about added PCI adapters for USB 3.0 that we can assign to a particular VM are, are gone. When I tried to assign the onboard on the motherboard ports, I have USB 3.0 ports on my Z68 ASRock motherboard, that didn't work. It actually messed up the USB 2.0 ports as well. There's some bridge chips. So, assuming this works, uh, this could be a, a good thing and kind of change the way you handle USB 3.0 ports and VMs. Now, the file transfer has now begun on large files. Uh, that speed doesn't look good. Now, I did not get a warning about. This device could perform better. Okay, now the speed's getting better. Yeah. Okay. No, that doesn't look good at all. And uh, all-out failure. 
Now, this is onboard motherboard ports, which are uh, not the fastest in my experience. If I add my high point card back in, with dedicated four USB 3.0 ports on it, uh, with each with their own dedicated controller, uh, maybe this thing will work. So maybe I am back to a PCI card after all, for, for my particular scenario. Let's move on to test number two. Um, disk size. So, going back to uh, here. Go back to edit settings. So this didn't work out very well. Let's just go ahead and remove that USB from the VM. And it's reconfigured and done. And uh, let's go back in and edit. Could have done that in one step, I guess. A hard drive. I'm going to thin provision because I don't have this kind of storage available. And let's see what happens when I try to say I want to add a 3 terabyte hard drive. And your susceptible value is 2. So it doesn't appear 5.1 fixes that. So what can I, what can I conclude? Uh, nothing much really. This is an early test. This is just a particular build. I don't pretend to know what will happen. This is build 799.733. Uh, maybe the ESXi USB 3.0 support is a little rough with certain controllers. That wouldn't surprise me. Uh, you know, not, not on the hardware com uh, compatibility list, of course. And then finally, for uh, greater than 2 terabytes, that was just rumored or discussed here and there. Really not sure uh, if there was any promises that that support was coming anytime soon. Maybe we have to wait till version uh, 6 or whatever it will be called. Quite possible. Anyhow, that's it for this video, and I uh, hope you found it helpful, and your comments are always greatly appreciated. Thank you for watching.